Hi everyone, welcome to a very special episode of Deal or No Deal. This is the 2010 governor race in Georgia, and let's welcome our first guest, Joe Sixpack. All right, it's great to be here, Johnny. All right, so tell us a little bit about yourself, Joe. Well, you know, I'm just a hardworking guy out here, uh, over here in Atlanta, making the commute to work every day, but I hate getting stuck in that Atlanta gridlock, getting stuck in traffic every day to and from work. It's the worst. All right, well, like I said, this is a special edition of Deal or No Deal, and you get one choice. You get to choose between no Nathan Deal or Nathan Deal. That's a hard decision, Johnny, but, you know, I came here for the big prize, so I got to go in and say no deal. All right, no deal. Well, let's see what you get. Roy Barnes and Carol Porter clean up ethics under the gold dome. All right, all right. Sounds like you and Georgia both just won. Well, let's see what happens if you had chosen deal, if you made a different choice and you chose to go with Nathan Deal. All right. Georgia elects one of the top 15 most corrupt congressmen to be governor of the state. Well, you know, I knew I was making the right choice going in. I'm glad I did what I did. All right, well, that's good for you and it's good for Georgia. All right. All right, welcome back to Deal or No Deal. We have Daryl Jenkins from Dougal County High School. All right, how's it going, y'all? All right, welcome to the show, Mr. Jenkins. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a teacher up here at Dougal County High School. I teach history to ninth graders, and I'm real upset about the furloughs I've been getting these past couple of years, and I got a lot of hope for our state, the next governor. All right, well, as I said, you get to choose between having Nathan Dill for your governor and not having Nathan Dill for your governor. So which one do you choose? I hope we can get a man of vision in here. I'm gonna go with Deal. All right, well, let's check and see what you get. Oh, Nathan Dill cuts the education budget and furloughs more teachers. Oh, man. All right, but had you chosen no deal, what would you have gotten? Let's take a look and see. Well, you got Roy Barnes implements a new education policy, giving Georgians new job skills, putting them back to work, and increasing pay for teachers. Man, that would have been something. And our final contestant tonight is Devon Goolsby. Come on out, Devon. What's up, y'all? All right, Devon, well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am an agriculture and forestry major in Atlanta, student. Um, and I am currently very angry about constantly getting stuck in gridlock when I try to go home to Macon, Georgia, to visit my family every weekend. All right, well, like I said, it's a very special episode. You have deal as governor or no deal. So go ahead and take your pick and we'll see what you get. Mm. No deal. No deal. So you chose not to have Nathan Dill as governor. Correct. Roy Barnes puts a high speed rail in Georgia, decreasing gridlock and bringing jobs to the state. What? All right, but had you chosen to go with deal. What would I have gotten? Let's see what you would have gotten. With his connections to Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle, Nathan Dill gets another no-bid state contract, banking him a quarter of a million dollars in taxpayer money. That doesn't sound like a good deal to me. God, no. I made the right choice. All right. 